Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, JC, and today we are back to play another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, but before I get into that, I just wanted to announce and just state this, but in 31 days, 8 hours, 53 minutes, and 15, 14, 13, 12 seconds from now, the Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds DLC will be available. Um, that is November 7th, in case you were curious. Um, I've already pre-ordered it, I just wanted to know how much longer it had before it was ready. So, how do I exit? There we go. Look at that, you just spam the button and you get right back to where you need to go. So yeah, I'm very super super excited and I am going to be playing the Frozen Wilds. So I have to have the main story mission completed before then I, I think, or you have to be so far into the story mission before the DLC could be played. I think I'm almost done with the, the story mission. Um, I still have a shit ton of like things to explore and to actually do, which I am going to go out and explore and do all these cool things. I just need to have that fancy ass armor first. I need that armor because I will die. You guys, I'm so bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just waiting till I get that armor. Um, and we'll, we'll go and we'll find all the tonics. We'll get all the Banook figures. And we'll do all these cool things at some point or along the way. Uh, I am trying to finish out the main mission, the main story right now. Because I am fully aware um, that the DLC is going to be out. You're going to want to know the main story. Um, I'm very curious. I'm very excited that they're coming out with the, the DLC. I'm hoping that there's going to be more. Um, it's rumored that there is going to be no more DLCs after this because they're announcing and, and releasing a complete quote-unquote edition for like 50 bucks. Um, 50 or, I think it's 50. I don't think it's 60. I think it's 50, which is a really good deal. Um, with the DLC and the actual game, which is kind of disappointing because I was hoping there'd be more DLCs because let's be honest, I would buy them all. Either way, I don't mind. I'm sure that they're going to come out with a Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Um, I know that this is a really big hit game for them and I want them to have another one. I will play <laughs> anything Horizon Zero Dawn. In fact, I've been buying shit like Horizon Zero Dawn like promo stuff and just like I've been looking for stuff that I want to buy for like fucking ever just because I love this game and I'm super stoked for The Last of Us Part 2 um most of their promotional stuff is just a plain sweater I actually did a friend showed me a really cool Hellblade sweater too that I really want it looks really cool um but I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet or not I think it's really really cool looking but I don't I don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it though, um, just because it's cool, even though my problem is, is I pretty much just wear the one sweater that I always wear, um, because it's a heat sweater, and I'm always fucking cold, so, you know. So let's take a look, we're gonna go back around this village, and we're gonna see if anybody needs anything else from us, and we're gonna just double check everything, we're gonna look around, see if there's any cool junk, hidden supplies, or anything like that, that may be nearby. I'm amazing. I keep your eyes open. Thick of it. Thick of what? This dick? No, probably not. Ooh. Shards. Better than having a bunch of shards. You know what I mean. Fuck. Oh good. He left me a nice little ledge to get back. Just in case I was dumb enough to fall. I appreciate that. Ooh, examine what? What's in this bottle? Ugh, it smells like ash or rotten eggs. I better pour that out. Ah! <laughs> What? Our project has gone missing. Fear suicide. Oh yeah, I know that. I've seen that. Hey, you better pour that bottle out. <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> I think it's rotten eggs. It's probably alcohol. Just saying, girl. You haven't had a good drink. 
Well, then you are missing out. I need a good drink. Ooh. An upstairs area, huh? They're necessities. Still. I want that. Whatever it is, I want that. Oh, I don't want that. Got it anyway. Hey, look, it's still there. I spammed the fuck out of that. What's everlasting? Can you explain? You're a bitch. Yeah, you're a bitch. Ooh. I've got all the best goods here. I can't buy anything. Ugh. Funny. I agree. I hate the sun too. I mean, I totally get it. What's this? Oh, one of those long ones. Look how long this is. That's fine. We'll just get into it. Anyway, so this says, History of Sunfall Scanned Glyphs. The History of Sunfall. After the vanishing of the Radiant Herb and the Cohort of the West, the Radiant Basadid ordered a mighty fortress built at the Sundom's far uh, farthest reach. His Luminous chose to build atop ancient ruins, reasoning the ancients must have seized upon the location for its st strategic value. On the Of the ancients, the works of too much... Too smooth gray stone and strategy carved metal were collapsed or built over, and the catacombs sealed off. Only the stone ring, perhaps used for some unknow unknowable ritual, left was left in place. That is pretty loud, actually. To serve the garrison as a training ground even though its builders and soldiers lived in fear of the land where the sun goes at night the finished walls of the fortress were mighty and unshakable his luminous and his high priest the irrefutable pasharman named it sunfall under the blazing eye of the sun and by the light it was good none doubted the radiant facade's pr prudence nor denied the lingering hope that his brother might one day be sighted again, but no great threat would come from the west of his west in his lifetime, nor did it come for the rest the next three generations. The records show that the men of Sunfall fought many bandits and scroungers skul skul skulking in the rust wash, and a dangerous stampede of behemoths in the long burn. In time, Sunfall slipped from common memory until the sixth year of the elevations, uh, eleventh, sorry, Sun King's reign, when the radiant Mazarid himself came to inspect it in the desert heat. His luminous received a vision of the or, ornate cathedral, citadel, with a dome of metal so polished it would greet the dawn and catch the rays of the sun's last shining at dusk. At once he ordered the detonation of the Sundom's resources to building the structure. After its construction, his luminous took the, the citadel at his summer palace, as his summer palace, bringing with him many members of the sun court nobles and artisans. In time, Sunfall became the city unto itself and the source of great works such as Passion of the Tall Neck Among, among the Dunes, Turning Seasons at brown, Bronze Flash and Laminate for Cinnabar Sand. The stone training ring was uh, repurposed for shows of pageantry where young blazons or the hunter's lodge hawks could display the sun's dominance over the machines. Sunfall's prominence in the culture of the Sundoms continued for many years, until the Sun King's Ma Marzid's untimely demise in the citadel he so treasured. Or cathedral? I don't think it's cathedral. It might be. Oh, you're wet. My cat is wet. She just rubbed against me. For his... Prosec or possession? 
procession back at the All Might, a line of torches was laid all the way across the daybreak, so that over the days and nights of the of his bearing, he might always go in light. The, uh, the departed king's brother, the radiant Hivaz, was occupied wholly with renewing the soldiery solidarity, right? Solidarity of the Sundom. And with the old son's king passing, so too passed this chapter in Sunfall's history. In the early years of the 13th Sun King's Jaram's, Jaran's reign, before the falling of his shadow, a particularly harsh season came upon the Sand Whisper Valley. Upon hearing that the storms could strip the very detailing off armor, he decreed that the strongest among his guard should be trained for the desert here and named Castrels, indeed Helis, Helios, who would become the most infamous and of the Castrels, was one of the first to survive his reforging, his reforging by the sun and sand here. Wow, this is a long one. In the 15th year of Sun King Jerome's reign, when the sacrifices in the sun ring were judged insufficient to calm the derangement of the machines, he presided over the blooding of the ring at sunfall. He, tr he a trapped behemoth was driven with spears, oh, um, and spurred over this over slaves of the Osmarin and Otura. When the beast turned upon the Kester rills, the Sun King stood and declared that the Sun, in its great generosity, would accept the sacrifice of faithless and faithful alike. So began a fearful era of the sunfall of sacrifices unending in its sun ring and its cas cas citadel cathedral whispered of the of the place where no light shone. Many upstanding citizens of the sundom were taken inside its doors to disappear as surely as if they had journeyed to the forbidden west. In the last days of the sun king, Jerom. Jaron's reign, Sunfall, was in the charge of the cathedrals of high priests, no longer answering to the Sundom as a whole. It was no surprise then that the following of the liberation of Meridian Jaron's loyalists sought refuge uh, at Sunfall. As the fortress, it, as a fortress, it was impenetrable, but cut off from the bount, bountiless, bounteous lands across the daybreak. I am so bad at reading. I'm so sorry. It was a city imp impoverished. So stood the stalemate in the fifth year of the 14th Sun King, the radiant Avad, and so stood Sunfall, once built to protect the sundom from the shadow of the west. It is now sheltered at worst shadow, the false Karja who dealt with him. Hmm. Interesting. Reading has never been my strong suit, so again, I apologize. Um, yeah, that's just uh, that's all I'm going to say about the subject. Do you have anything cool for me, dude? Sling, rope caster, trip caster, war bow, ba 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 ba, rattler. I don't have any of these. I don't think. Cards just sling, trip caster, rope caster, shadow bow, rattler, war bow. Blast sling, shadow rope caster, shadow sling, I already have one, I think I bought two of those, trip caster, shadow war bow, trampler heart, I need a trampler heart, I want to buy this, I barely have enough shards for it though, shadow sharp shot, I kind of want this, I don't have a sawtooth heart, Shadow Rattler. <laughs> Shadow Blast Link. Do you have any cool outfits for me? Silent Hunter. Da 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 da. Nothing looks new. Where's the map? I will take my free sample box though. 
Thank you for the free sample. Inventory treasure boxes. Too many, too much. Not enough room. Wasn't one of these? Yeah, this one's really good. Okay, we'll leave that there then. I don't need that. Great. Speaking of which, I got some fast travel fucking packs for you. Because, like, I don't need them. Right? I've got all the unlimited fast travel that I could possibly use. Metal vessel. I've got a lot of shit. Where are those travel packs at? Am I in the wrong area? I would like to get rid of them, please. Modifications, outfits. None of that shit. There's gotta be resources somewhere. Let's see, let's see. I could just be blind. I mean, that's not out of the possibility by no means. I've got so much wood. Where the fuck are those fast travel packs? I need not fucking see them. I'm probably blind. Anyway, you can't fucking have them. Just fucking leave me alone. You're an asshole. Yeah, you're just an asshole. Hmm. Let's go upstairs. Well, yeah, well, you can't buy anything either, so, you know. These stairs are useless. They take you nowhere. Nowhere except somewhere where I can hurt myself. Because I'm going to jump around up here. Can't go up there nowhere. Oh, that's actually not that high. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck, I hit a wall. I hit a wall! What's over there? I want to go over there. Can I make it over there, you think? Oh, no. I think not. I wish I could jump that high. I wish I could jump over people's fucking heads. I can move like, move your fat head, I'm jumping over. That'd be fun. Oh shit, I can't make up these fucking stairs. Eh. I just ran into that ass. Why is there this hook up here? Whee! Nothing up here. Come on. There's a town crier. Oh. Ah! Shit. Anyway. Moving on. I would love to buy something. Preferably cool new outfits that I don't already have. Yeah, I mean, those. I'm gonna step right on your fish. Yeah, fuck off. I will. Thank you. I can't buy anything in here. Yeah, fuck off. Stop saying that. The peasant is good. I am perfectly capable of finding my own goods. Thank you. Mm, I don't think there's much else to explore over here. I think we've pretty much got the uh, gist of everything. Oh, oh, I can move this. Oh, I moved it for a second. Please tell me somebody saw that. Eh, it's on recording. What do you guys care? I moved it for a second, I swear. Maybe I'm wrong. Anything interesting over here? Anybody else have any missions over here? I don't think so. Everything seems to be good. I don't see... 
Spike Creek. Spike Creek. There's that man over there. Okie dokie, we will go over there for that supply crate, motherfucker. It's probably one that we've already gone into and probably couldn't hold something, so we left it behind. Who wants to bet? I think I remember this crate. Look at that. Fuck you. Excuse the fuck out of me. Supplies, motherfucker? Where? In here? Is there a secret tunnel somewhere? Or is it behind this wall? Ah, sneaky little bastard. I will take all the metal shards. Again, as long as it's not metal shards. Or any kind of shards, for that matter. Anyway, I guess we will be on our way then. Thank you for letting me venture through your town. It's such a beautiful game. I just, I love this game to death. It's like my favorite game right up with, her, with The Last of Us. And I'm guessing The Last of Us is probably going to surpass Horizon Zero Dawn. Because I love The Last of Us, too. Last of Us Part 2? I'm so stoked for that. Why the fuck did you leave me this way? Why are we going this way? Where the fuck are we going? That was not nearly deep enough to do a fucking head dive like that. Are we going to have to cross the water? Okay, well, whatever you say, buddy. This is so pretty. Three machines in the water. Lots of fish. Ooh, green resource. Might as well do some fishing while we're here. Fishbone. Oh, what? Oh, you suck. Um, hmm. Resources? No more upgrades available. Mm. Let's take a look at my resources. What can I drop that's not needed? Echo shell. I'm so bad at having all this shit. Natural resource can be used to craft resistance potions. Yeah, I'll be right back. Stay right there. Because I collect all those flowers and shit, and I don't necessarily need them. So let's go to my inventory. Resources. Let's see what all these fucking flowers are for. So this one's... Natural resource can be used to craft resistance potions. Drop. Used to craft resistance potions. I don't really use those. Trees rhyme root. Resistance potions. Again. Not to say that I won't pick them up some more. There you go. Have at it. Okay, can I have that fish bone, please? What the fuck was that? There we go. I'm gonna need fish bones to upgrade my satchels and shit. Get out of the water. There we 
go. There's some resources for me. I like this little river, this little pond, this little lake, this little swimming hole. There's no machines in it. Animal talus? Talesman school? I don't know what that means necessarily, but that's fine. I don't know what it's used for either, but you know. Okay. This looks really deep. Like, way deeper than this. But hey, what do I know? I'm not sure that going underwater really does anything for us either. It's getting dark out. I don't like the dark, you guys. Animal talisman tooth. Huh. Ooh, what's this one? Just regular, right? Fatty meat. Okay, cool. I guess. Whoa. And there's more fish. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm done. We'll, we'll continue. It's fine. I'm I'm just I'm just fucking around, okay? I really I really like this game. It's so cool. Fishkin, yes, bitch. Okay, and some more meat. Not that I need it, but um, you know. Okay, we'll go over here. We'll do what we gotta do this way. Where are we even coming up on? Ooh, a little island. Well, that's pretty neat. I'm pretty sure I went the way that I'm not supposed to go. Like, where the fuck are we even going anyway? There's a tall neck. I need to get that tall neck. There's a Banook figure on the way. We'll probably do that. Metal flower. I don't know if I'll do that yet or not. We'll see. We will see. Okay, dry land. Here we come. For now. Ooh, a boat. <gasps> you touched the butt. Yes, I did. I went there. Ooh. I mean, it seems to be a pretty peaceful area that we've come across. Why didn't people just stay there? What the fuck? Ooh, a yellow resource, huh? Fish bomb. Okay. Cool. That was a little glitchy. That's okay. Ooh, a fire. Somebody here. Somebody had to have been here at the very least. Let's steal their shit. I'd have to ditch something. Yeah, you would. Little garden. Hmm. Wonder who's been chilling over here. Fire killing root. Great, I can make more of those potions I never make. It's cold. I'm cold. Is there somebody nearby? Let's go check out up here. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. That was a straight shot. I didn't have to jump my way up here or nothing. Which is great. Do you think a person might be nearby? I was hoping I'd run into a person. Doesn't appear so, though. Hmm. wonder what else is nearby. More islands? Vantage point, which I've never actually been able to figure out. I've never climbed on a vantage point. I have not even touched like this portion of the map. Just said fuck that half in particular. 
But um, yeah. I mean, this is it's just such a beautiful game. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. I mean, Naughty Dog, they they even praised this game. They thought it was cool too. They liked the the look of it. They think it's beautiful, which it is. What is that? I'm gonna swim over here. Hmm. It's a bit more chill of an episode. I know I haven't done too much. I'm heading in the direction of the main mission. I don't know when I'll be able to find a campfire though, because that's what I'm gonna need once we get to land. Is a campfire so we can save. Because I'm trying not to fast travel too much. Because it's not helping me explore anything. This looks like an old, like maybe a bridge structure. Have we been here, I wonder? Is this the Meridian, maybe? You know, because I haven't been here. It's a town, though. Because look at that. Hello, my good people. I am passing through. Is this a bad town though? Like, is there bad towns now? Because then it would be like a, a thing, right? A bandit camp, right? You know, for being a game though, I haven't seen, or a, you know, apocalyptic game, I haven't seen too much, um, like, housing developments or anything like that, which. God only knows, there's so many housing developments around here. Ooh. Settlement discovered blazing arch, huh? Am I allowed here? I mean, I'd imagine I'm probably allowed here. Tread lightly, Outlander. I'm good at remembering fences. Oh, okay. I'm good. You seem nice and friendly. Asshole. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. You're not being an asshole like your buddy. Huh. Ooh, there's stuff on that boat. But if I jump in the water, I'll never be able to make it on top of that boat. Hmm. Campfire discovered. Oh, good. I'm near a campfire. What's in here? Ooh, a door. Let me in, motherfucker. Ooh. I really like coming across new places. I mean, some places like the desert. Ooh, I do not like the desert, but I think it's cool. I mean, it's still it's a part of the game, which means I really enjoy it. Disappearances, huh? Let me hop on your boy boat, ahoy! Ooh. How come I was able to collect the blaze there, but like nowhere else am I able to collect the blaze? Whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna ask too many questions, I guess. But fine. This is a hard point, hunter, hard point. Okay, yeah, just make sure I everything. Oh, this is gonna be a long one, huh? What's it say? Holy fuck. Ooh, this is one about the Forbidden West, which I heard somebody was predicting that there would be a DLC on this, but now that they have the complete edition, I don't know if there is going to be. Um, but it says, Scanned Glyphs, the Forbidden West. Expeditions into the Forbidden West. Reader, if you would know of the Forbidden West, there are none more qualified to be your teller than I, the considerate Abdane, healer of Blazon Arch. Why? For I yet live... For I yet live, unlike the outlander who gasped and shrieked, or shrieked the tales that follow. Foothar foolhardy blazons and madcaps all, they were brought to the near-death poisoned, mortally wo wounded, or driven witless by, the, by what they had experienced in the lands beyond the dot. With such wounds, it was all I could do to ease their pain and try to make notes from their ra ranting. As the sun shines upon me, I cannot vouch for the full truth of these tales. I only hope they will satisfy your curiosity and turn you from 
the path that led these imprudent explorers and daredevil trekkers to their depths. Though each account differs, it, it is certain that the western lands are most unlike our own. Some cross deserts of, of palest white, others deserts the color of fire, or even limitless sweeps of blue sand and that seemed reflected to reflect the sky above, broken only by the remains of ancient, machi ancient machines. Others spoke of vast prairies of tall grass, each blade sharp enough to draw blood, dotted with shivering black flowers, or incalculable plains of dri dread dried mud, cracked like a great mosaic. At night, unknown animals watch the gl with glowing eyes and strange birds, all of the colors of kites and fireworks, chitter and call out in men's voices. That's creepy. Most extraordinarily of all are those reports of the lake 100 times the size of daybreak, so wide the far shores cannot be made out, and so deep that an entire city of the ancients stand drowned within. The water is sour to the taste, ew, and sickening, and it is said to rise up and push back against those who attempt to cross. It would seem the dead cities without the dead cities without number have been consumed by the shifting dunes in the west. Their skeletal towers mirrored in seas of sand. The wind is heard to sing a low, mournful sound through these ruins, or though the skeletons um, of vast metal birds now fallen or over great metal bowls now filled with depths of black water where fish dart like shooting stars the song of ruin rising from a hum and to a howl still haunted these men and women as they thrashed and sweated in unique and in, uh, in unquiet sleep but though the western lands are harsh and even the, their beauty hides danger it is not the, the land alone that swallows up all who venture within, that inflicts the brands of wounds suffered by those few fortunate enough to return. Oh yes, all have spoken of the new machines in the West, machines more strange and terrible than any found in the Sundom. Wow. With the fire, fingernails dying witnesses their fingernails dying witnesses have scratched out impossible shapes or if they still possess several limbs of vocal and vocal organ, organs mimicked jerked movements and intimidated imitated awful sounds all belong in them in the throes of madness and what manner of men can live where the sun goes at night these tales were most chilling one spoke of the drinkers of machine blood their lips and tongues stained their teeth were placed with metal. Another described it, youth as pale as ash, all wearing the same faces, who hunt silently and tirelessly in the night. Still, another told of a tribe, seen only in the afar, whose folk br busied themselves digging deep pits in the sand, only to fill them in again for unknown reasons, while another tribe was only glimpsed on the... was only glimpse on the waters of the great lake riding the thin dark boats wow oh son a half of me regrets scribbing scribing these stories for they inspire questions that can only be answered by yet more doomed expeditions and yet i must tell the tales for what else remains of these poor and wretched men and women? If they sought riches, they found none to bring back. Nothing save a handful of black silt or a curios curiously stamped piece of metal, a chunk of desert glass with shifting hue, or an odd smooth shell. I have kept all these things to remind me of those who went in search of the forbidden and paid for it dearly. Reader, if you think yourself as an adventurer, heed the warning in this old man's collection of strange small things and go not into the Forbidden West. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, fuck me. Oh, good, I can get in the boat. Speaking of which, I actually have this thing in the notebook that's bothering me. Actually, all these are explanation. Should I not listen to those? I don't know. I don't have time to listen to them right now. Hello, sir. Through the fire right here. Perfect. 
What's over here hidden in this corner? Hmm. It's very, very interesting. I'm addicted to this game to say the least and I get so distracted because I do love the game. Um, it's a really good game. If, if you haven't played it yet, I still recommend it even though you know, I'm doing the playthrough for you guys or with you guys. I still really, really enjoy the game and I think it's a great experience. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode off here. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button. Uh, comment down below if you have anything to say and subscribe if you're not already. If you want to, you don't have to. I'm not required or by any means. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed this video of Horizon Zero Dawn. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.